all about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Good evening, viewers. I'm Victoria Gima, and I welcome you to join us in another exciting episode of House and Home where we bring to you all the latest on home improvements and lifestyle. Without any further procrastination, let us go straight into our lineup for this evening, shall we? Well, for tonight, we have cooking with our good friends, Goodman Filder, followed by Home Habits, flawless fashion ideas on Snapshot, shopping with Brian Bell, more on Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, and Animal Plus. But first, let us now join Chef Luke, who has yet another delicious recipe to show you. Good afternoon, my name is Luke McCall from Goodman Fielder International. Uh, welcome to Baking with Goodman Fielder. Uh, today we're going to introduce you to a new flame flour product. It's called Goodman Fielder High Protein uh, Flour. Uh, it's in a 25 kilo bag. Uh, we wanted to demonstrate today just uh, making hard scones out of the new Goodman Fielder Professional Flour. I'll run through our ingredients that we're going to use today. Uh, first of all, we're going to use our Goodman Fielder uh, Baker's Professional Flour, high protein flour, uh, sugar, baking powder, salt and yeast, and also some shortening, which I think is uh, pretty much the standard ingredients for a Highland scone. We've already weighed all the ingredients up just uh, ahead of time. Put all the dry ingredients in. We'll just weigh up some shortening. Okay. So we'll mix all those ingredients together, including the shortening. So it's all well incorporated. With the new Goodman Fielder high protein flour, uh, I think if you compared it to the standard fl plain flour on the shelf, it's, uh, it's a lot whiter, uh, it's more fine. Add our water. And we'll mix that up. So you want the dough to be quite wet. The new Goodman Fielder flour will absorb more water than the standard flour. So you want to keep mixing it until all the flour is uh, wet, it's absorbed all the water, there's no, no dry flour left. Just scrape the sides down. So once the, the dough's formed, what we're gonna do is just take it out of the bowl. We're gonna put it on the bench and we're actually gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. And this allows the flour to absorb all the water and actually 
starts to develop the dough. A lot of people like to stand there and knead and knead. There's actually uh, no reason to do that. You can just let it rest on the bench. Just make it into a ball. So once we've formed form the dough, we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and let it absorb all that flour and water, and then we'll knead it again. So our dough's rested for 10 minutes, so we're gonna give it its first kneading, um, which is helping develop the dough and make the scones nice and soft uh, and smooth inside. Uh, as we said before, this it's a nice white dough, which is produced from our new high protein baker's flour. Uh, it comes in a 25 kilo bag instead of the standard 50 kilos, uh, and you can purchase it now uh, all over the country and all our good, uh, good wholesalers in Papua New Guinea. So we're just going to knead this dough and as you can see the dough is starting to become smoother. So by kneading the dough and then allowing it to rest, uh, it's actually developing the protein which we've got high protein in this flour. So again, a little bit of flour. We'll just let that rest for another 10 minutes. Our dough's rested again for another 10 minutes. So now it's time to cut it into the smaller portions to, to make our scones. So we're gonna uh, weigh it so that each piece is exactly the same and it will, the weight that we're going to target is 120 grams. So if you're making scones at, uh, at home to sell at the market, if you scale them all and you know exactly how much each piece weighs, then you can do your costing on your flour and your sugar, your yeast and all the products that go on your scone, so you know exactly how much one scone is going to cost. And you know how much money you're going to make per, per scone and one kilo of flour. Or if you buy it in a 25 kilo flour, then you know how many scones you're going to make out of that bag of flour. As we were saying before, the new Goodman Fielder high protein uh, professional baker's flour is uh, available in all parts of Papua New Guinea now, uh, in all the good wholesalers that sell baker's flour to, uh, to everybody. So we got 15 scones from there, We've got a little bit left over, so we'll just roll it out a little bit. And just split those up. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is obviously make them round in the normal scone shape. And put them on our baking tray, which is gonna go into, we're using a barbecue today. Um, we're using a barbecue just to uh, replicate people uh, cooking scones in their ovens at home or in bush ovens, uh, instead of the commercial ovens. So 
obviously we've got uh, 15 scones, so we'll make, uh, put three by five on the tray. Last one. So now these buns have got to rest for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Because they've got yeast in them, they have to rise. So we're going to let those rise before we uh, put them in the barbecue. Cut. <laughs> Our scones have been proving for about half an hour now, so they're ready to uh, go in the oven the bush oven or the barbecue, whichever one you've got. Um, we'll put them in and they'll be in there for about, in this barbecue, about 15 minutes. So our scones have been in the uh, barbecue now for about 15 minutes, they should be ready. So they're nice and nice and brown and uh, yeah, finished. So that's our hard scones um, cooked in a Weber barbecue, but you can cook them in your oven at home, bush oven at home, wherever you cook your, your normal meals. Again, it's baked on our New Goodman Fielder high protein 25 kilo baker's flour and it's available in all good wholesalers around the country. That was Chef Luke, and man, I gotta admit, that dish was incredibly delicious. Goodness, I feel hungry already. We have Georgie who will show us a simple way of mixing certain ingredients to make your own face back right at home. That can work miracles on your body. It truly works for me. Well, I can't wait. That's coming up on Home Habits right after these short messages. So stay with us. Welcome back viewers. Well, before the break, we told you on how you can make your own face pack at home. Well, here's Jotty with all the details. Good evening and welcome to Home Habits. I'm Jyoti and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a homemade face pack using completely natural ingredients. It's great because A, it's cheap, B, it's very effective, and C, it's completely natural. So I have with me chickpea flour, and this should be readily available in most supermarkets. I also have full cream yogurt, and these two will form the primary ingredients of my face pack. An optional ingredient is also vinegar, 
And if you don't have vinegar, then you can always use lime or lemon. You just need a few drops of it. The qualities of both chickpea flour and yogurt are great. In that, I will stress again that it is completely natural. And B, it um, helps exfoliate the skin, both these ingredients. Chickpea flour is great if you, are, if you have acne prone skin, it works wonders on your skin. So if you have um, skin that is sensitive and um, is prone to acne, you can always use chickpea flour. Again, it's very good for sensitive skin because it's completely natural. And then it also helps with if you have um, a sunburn or you know a stubborn sunburn, it's also, it also helps with calming and soothing your skin. Yogurt again acts as a cleanser to your skin. They're great for sensitive skin. It's great for uh, people who it's, it has anti-aging properties. So if you're um, growing older and you see you're getting wrinkles, it's great to use these um, to use chickpea flour and yogurt. So let's go ahead and make this facial. You can use a few spoons of chickpea flour. You know, chickpea flour and uh, yogurt have great properties in that they exfoliate the skin. They also, uh, so they get rid of all the dead, uh, dead cells of, um, within the skin. And I'm using two spoons of yogurt. This is roughly two spoons. It's also great for sensitive skin. It has great um, anti-aging properties. It's great, it works wonders for acne prone skin. So once you've added your yogurt and the chickpea flour, this is the kind of consistency you should be looking for. It's a nice, thick, creamy consistency. Now, if you have sensitive skin, you stop right here. You don't go to the next method. You just add, apply this on your skin and leave it for 15 minutes or till it's dry and then you can wash it off. If, however, your skin is a bit strong and you can handle it, then add a bit of vinegar. What this does, it is a lightening agent. It um, helps with um, getting rid of um, stubborn tans. So this is a mix, what the mixture looks like once you've added the vinegar or the lime or lemon. So the mixture after you've added the vinegar, again, is slightly more moist than it was before, but still has maintains that creamy texture. You can add now this onto your face, for, leave it for 15 minutes or till dry, and then you wash it off. If suppose you've made a lot of um, face pack, you can always leave this in the fridge. It will last you for five days. Suppose your mixture, your face pack gets dry and you want to reuse it again, just add a bit of milk and moisten it again and then you can apply it on your face. And that's all we have for home habits this week. I'll leave you with a little tip. If you have blackheads, Take a little bit of salt and rub it in that area that you have blackheads. It should do the job and get rid of it for you. Until the next time, have a pleasant evening. How simple was that? Homemade face pack, not only for ladies, but for men as well. We'll take a quick breather for now, but coming up on the other side, we'll join Leon Gowie for more shopping with Brian Bell. Welcome back. Here's Leon now for all those shopping ideas with Brian Bell. Take a look. Good evening and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gowie. There are many wonderful and innovative creations that human beings have come up with. 
one being bags. There are a lot of great bags here available at Brian Bell, and tonight we'll check out a new range that has recently come to Brian Bell and some other quality brands. First off, if you didn't know yet, Brian Bell is now retailing genuine Puma goods. Puma is a brand associated with sports, with one of its major endorsed athletes being Usain Bolt, the world record holder for the 100 and 200 meter men's dash, and the world and Olympic champion in the men's 100 and 200 meter dash. Puma is a known brand in sporting circles, and rightfully so, because of its affiliation with sports like athletics and soccer. And Puma has arrived in Brian Bell, and we sell some of its amazing Puma bags. There is a huge range to choose from here at Brian Bell, with the stylish Puma bags for all ages. I remember growing up, Puma was the IT brand. Every kid wanted Puma shoes, socks and bags. Come time to look for bags for school, Puma bags were the ones that kids always went for. Now for the kids, there are these Sesame Street themed carry bags that are absolutely adorable. There are these bags for toddlers like the Cookie Monster and Elmo bags, which can be used to carry their little necessities. Then for the first timers at school, check out these bags. The green Oscar the Grouch and blue Cookie Monster bag are both colorful and thus will build the hype of our little first timers attending school. The bag is bright colored and easy to identify and with its tough durable material that all Puma bags are made from, it will last. And with its Sesame Street theme, kids will go crazy and love these bags. We all know that kids are generally excited about school. However, for the ones that need encouraging, this school bag can be used as a tool for motivating your child for school. Obviously, Puma bags are made for the athletes and are durable for all athletes to carry. It can easily carry all your gear to training, to the gym or to the game. The common thing all these Puma bags have is the durable material used to make these bags, meaning these bags are made to last. Now these bags are diverse and for our students, the range of Puma bags we have can effectively do the job when it comes to carrying your books. The straps on the back are tough and durable enough to carry all your textbooks. All these Puma bags also have a case to carry your laptop or tablets, and an easy access pouch and a water bottle carrier. Not only is this bag ideal for students, but it's also ideal for the working class and their day-to-day -day needs. It has all the perks you need to get you from point A to point B, with space for your laptop and your documents to get you to work and back. Part of the Puma range of goods that we're selling that is worth a mention is the Puma soccer gear, like the Puma Evo Speed 5 shin guards and the Puma Pro Training shin guards. These soccer apparels are the state-of-the-art soccer equipment. There are also cool looking soccer balls that are very eye-catching. Now if you haven't realized yet, we've gone through two months of the year in 2016 and we're now in March. And soon, in two weeks time, is going to be Easter. During Easter, it's a time when people travel a lot. So whether you're traveling on your highways, over the seas, or flying back and forth, you're going to need a traveling case. And here at Brian Bell, we provide the best traveling cases that you can find in PNG. Check out our range of traveling cases. These come in assorted colors, styles, and designs to choose from. And also come in a range of different sizes, ranging from 14 inches to 24 inches. This is the perfect traveling companion with its portable trolley wheels, it'll make moving in terminals that much easier. And with its safety compartments, your luggage will be safe and you can travel with the peace of mind knowing that your luggage won't be tampered with. This is a real must-have if you are to travel. The 24-inch case allows you to carry all the clothes that you will need on your trip. The soft shell luggage case easily collapses for your storage, has multiple outside pockets and conveniently expands when you need more space. Also during this Easter season, there will be a lot of retreats. So whether it's with your family, your friends, or your church, Brian Bell has a lot of great quality Coleman bags that are specifically made for camping. Just like our tents and Coleman Eskies, these tents are durable and made to last. Check out our range of Scoutmaster camping bags. There are assorted styles to choose from. For the more backpack sort of look, this navy blue Coleman Scouts guide bag is ideal. The material used to make this bag is tough. Like the other Scoutmaster bags, this bag is well insulated. So if you kept your food or your water bottles inside, it would be kept nice and cool. So once you've hiked to your camping spot, then you can enjoy a cold drink in our hot conditions. Check out a different style of Coleman bags. It's a bigger bag that is also made of the high standard set by Coleman. The features are pretty much the same as the previous product. However, this bag is a lot more bigger. 
With more room, you can cater to more things that you need on your camping trip. And while we're on the topic of camping, a product that is worth the mention are these torches. When you go camping, it's essential that you have your own torch. It's a must-have, really. And in PNG, we face a lot of unexpected blackouts as well. So these torches will come in handy. Here at Brian Bell, we stock an extensive range of torches. Check out our Coleman torches. They come in a variety of sizes and are bright and powerful sources of light. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's segment. And before I let you go, I'd like to reiterate that Brian Bell has all the quality bags that you will need. Puma has landed in Brian Bell and we sell some of its quality bags. Also, if you're traveling anywhere during Easter, check out our range of travel cases. If you need to go camping, we have great Scouts Master camping bags that'll do the job for you. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. Until the next time, good night and God bless. Friends, that was Leon with all the great ideas of shopping with Brian Bell. They have all the genuine products that suit your lifestyle, so go ahead and shop. And with the friendly staff there, they are more than happy to serve you. There is more coming up, so don't go anywhere. Good to have you back with us. Now last week, Dr. Ambi talked to us on what appears to be some of the vital facts that can possibly lead to divorce. Since it's a broad subject on its own and one that needs to be addressed immediately, this week, Dr. Ambi elaborates further on the facts. Here is Dr. Ambi. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Well, viewers, me like to folks and welcome to Healthy Mind. All Papa and Mama and all picking in and this la time, you need talk talk low violence. Me think in this la topic and good la topic because me think in also violence and want la kind problem and creating plenty you know, Hamamas through law, inside law, community law, you need. So violence is a global issue, and also one because violence is known in international law, throughout the world, yeah, any one black kind problem, and bring in some black kind disharmony, or bring in some black kind, you know, Hamamas through us, inside law family, now inside law community, now plenty of old man may understanding what is violence? So now me kissing this la time and right time lo understanding violence. What is violence? What are different type of violence? So viewers, me look look lo one pla World Health Report and come up lo 2002. It's all about violence. It's a global issue. Or putting plenty pressure and come up lo all kind nation lo understanding one in something this la term and we call violence. You me must understand. It. So you may can make him or contribute you me good plus straight because all birua na fight na kind kind uh, problem and come up inside your family or inside your community and creating tribe la problem low life low you me. Well, violence is always we will see that in it's it's there in the human experience because it's a past it's it's something which happens with the human experience as long as you may also man marry you we experience uh, violence there are very different forms of violence but one plus something you may understanding it is preventable problem but what is the human cost also grief now pain and come up law one in kind violence you may facing and of course and hard law calculating you can't sit down na kissing pen na calculating in this line, bagra in this line, this line, this line, you know, easy through law understanding the cost. Not plus something or awesome, it is some plus violence are visible. 
and some are invisible. That means visible once time you own in television or you own in one plat, uh, you know, computer, now Google, now you look him all same. Try pla fight it come up or one him something you look look la I blow you, you look look na any two got some pla kind uh, feeling by come up blow you na effect two and come up. So it it is uh, something that you perceive and you can understand oh me look look like this land and me feeling no good through so also uh, emotions too and by change so some plus something violence can be visible some it is not visible because all by whatever you go through in the house or whatever in workplace or whatever sometimes we don't talk about it the suffering we go through in our life so what is violence in, in, in definition? The intentional use of physical force or power and which is threatened or actual against oneself or another person and against a group of people or community. And that either results on or has a highly what happens in a likelihood of resulting in injury and also death, psychological harm, and also maldevelopment. I mean, give him some like kind, uh, you know, delay in the development and death and deprivation. So that is the definition of uh, violence. These are different types of violence. One is called self-directed violence. Now, what is it? Because something you, you, you know, Hamamas now, directing something go wrong your life for you now you directing violence towards you these are examples like suicidal behavior also or killing you yet not self abuse like cutting uh, wrist and about now this like kind passing blow you me this is called self-directed violence number two is also interpersonal violence so if we are talking about the types of violence in the interpersonal violence any something between two plaman mary or also to plaman or one man na mary or some law family or intimate partners or you can also come within the child abuse or elderly abuse you bag up him all bobo blow you now crossing blow booby blow you now uh, pipe him all this la like kind old age group they all comes into a interpersonal violence where you create we will talk more on the uh, about the different nature and what are different ways of and causes of violence later on but the third one is the collective violence that is a violence between individuals who are unrelated suppose you tribal warfare warfare or also who may be or may not know each other that means it can happen at the workplace or you can happen at the school or school violence, youth violence, or even rape or sexual violence. These are, I want to give you some like kind of examples so that you understand what are the different types of violence, but you apply it by scaling. Now you apply and python because I said violence are preventable. The nature of violence are different. It can be physical. So me talk talk about different type. What can be the nature, how it can come? One is a physical. Pite him all yet na cigarette in na broken nose na bout na this la you end up in the hospital. Them also physically you lay hands, which is not right. You know, we have no right to touch another person. But it can happen as physical violence. Narabla something is a psychological. Do you know not have to talk? Pass him mouth or so na walk in action blow you yet and can uh, you know bring some like kind impact law narapla man or a group of people. Number three is the nature of violence. It's a sexual violence. Also, way lo bagrapin lo opposite sex or same sex or one and something. Now, involving the finally is the deprivation. Some like time you cross lo narapla man, you know, not give him kai kai or make sure you hide the food. You know, those are also the kind of abuse, a uh, violence. So you mean must neglecting people, or some stepdaughter, stepmother, stepmother, uh, husband and wife. This la kainia, like also neglecting, you cross or you know how much. That also a form of violence. But something you mean must before we have to wrap up, before we run time of this issue, the cost of violence. The cost of violence is 
huge in US, you will see billions of dollars are spent to address this issue. But we will be talking more on how we can prevent, but one plus something, we know each year many countries are putting money in terms of healthcare. The cost is, it's going to affect your healthcare. If you're going to end up in the hospital asking for help without talking about you are suffering. So healthcare cost is very big. Legal cost is going to be another big time cost. And absenteeism. Suppose big problem will come up, it goes as absenteeism. So you don't go to work, you end up without uh, productivity and you don't do things at a work place or house or with a family. So there is a, a loss of productivity of the person. And you, you saw a penis emotion, direct cost and indirect cost. So viewers, what did we learn today? We talked about definitions of violence and what is violence, different types of violence and the different nature of violence and what are the cost. You see the direct and indirect cost. Plenty something you can't calculate. So one thing I want to say, violence is preventable and viewers and me triple are important to, to stay without violence individually and as a in a community, as a society, you mean they can make number one Papua New Guinea strike. We can thrive in the name in the whole world to be socially and different nature of people with who we are. But viewers, let me tell you as we finish, on the next Healthy Mind, we will talk about the roots of violence, how we can prevent violence. Until then, I want to tell you something, put in Papa God first. We can fight violence and stay violent free Papua New Guinea. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Thank you so much, Dr. Ambi, for all the positive sentiments you shared. Indeed, divorce is the deadliest threat, but without being aware of the facts that cause it, it's so unfortunate to say, but marriage ends up dead. For most couples, that's the case. Remember, God created the institution of marriage for life. That's very deep. Now we take a short break, but more for you on the other side. Welcome back to the show. Times are changing and of course, fashions are becoming trendier. No doubt, you agree. Look around you and you see almost movie stars and supermodels walking with you to shops and so forth. Goodness me, what can we say? Technology is booming and so are we with fashion. Tonight, we feature a special edition as Godwin takes us to Holiday Inn. Here now is Godwin with this week's edition of Snapshot. Enjoy. Hi viewers, I'm Gobineki and today we're here at Holiday Inn and Suites. Now we're here to meet with Ananaime, who's the events, sales and conference manager here at Holiday Inn. Uh, she's going to tell us about a little bit of what's happening this weekend, which obviously is the wedding expo coming up for the first time and hosted by Holiday Inn. So why don't we go and see what she has to say about the event.
Hi, I'm Anna Naime. I'm the Conference and Event Sales Manager at Holiday Inn in Switzerland, Mosby. On behalf of Holiday Inn, we'd like to invite you to our wedding expo this Sunday, the 13th of March, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We will be showcasing what the hotel has to offer for your wedding needs and also have a range of exhibitors who will be advertising the products and services. And admission for the day is free. The Cassowary Park will be beautifully transformed into the perfect setup for a garden wedding. Next of Kin Productions will be doing the setup and it will include a white marquee, a wedding arch that will be adorned with flowers. Ballroom 1 will be set up as a reception by Blue 17. They will not only provide the decor but also audio and visual. We will have our function menus available for people to take home as well as our special offer flyer. This entitles a couple that has more than 80 guests to receive complimentary venue hire and a complimentary guest room which will be tastefully decorated for the bride and groom on the night of the wedding. In terms of jewellery, we will have House of Gemini and Jules Collins Jewellers. The spas and salons include Divine Beauty, House of Zen, Glow Hair Boutique and Trends Beauty International. Ui Tiki Fashion will be showcasing their bridal wear and accessories. PNG Gardener, their floral arrangements and bouquets. Photography will be covered by Calamatic Photography and Silver Soul Studios. Wedding Cakes by Grace from Blue Lot and Cakes. And last but not least, the event companies participating are Next of Kin Productions, Blue 17, Montina Events, Total Event Company, Signature Events, Pasco Promotions, Billas Events, and Vion PR and Events Management. Our sister company, Crown Plaza, will also be displaying their wedding packages at the expo. Thanks, Anna, for that. Now, viewers, you've had for yourself, there will be a wedding expo hosted by Holiday Inn this Sunday, so make sure you come down. There's more local uh, companies showcasing their goods and services. Lots and lots of fun. There'll be prize giveaways as well from the exhibitors as well, so you don't want to miss that fun. So make sure you come down this weekend on Sunday to Holiday Inn and enjoy or find out some information on Wedding Expo. It's bye for now. Oh, weddings, every girl's dream. Perfect dress, ideal location, and priceless ring with that special someone, and you got yourself a wedding. Thanks, Godwin, for that. Now to a quick break, but on the other side, Godwin brings to us the story on World Wildlife Day. All the awareness and information you can't afford to miss. That's next, so stay tuned. Yeah, So World Wildlife Day is all about us celebrating the world's wildlife and the need to protect it. Being in Papua New Guinea, our real focus is on the need for us to love our PNG wildlife and protect it. So this is the second year that we've hosted it. This year we have a partner that's come on board to help us run the event because each year we do these events, they get bigger and better and we get more and more people coming. So we're really excited that ExxonMobil has actually come on board to partner with this event. And so a lot of, a lot of what we're doing today is drawing attention to issues facing wildlife and what we can do to, to protect it. And there's lots of practical things that each and every one of us can do to help conserve PNG's wildlife. She also challenged the local Papua New Guineans to start ensuring that the nature remain and will be around for generations to enjoy and also to recognise the importance of wildlife conservation. 
ExxonMobil representative Valentina Kaman spoke on behalf of ExxonMobil, stating that the wildlife conservation should be our number one priority in the country and that we should start practicing and protecting wild plants and animal species in their natural habitats. We have a very robust conservation program. There's a department that's just dedicated to doing all um, monitoring, providing programs in terms of you know, looking at areas how to mitigate our construction impacts around the environment. So there is a lot of um, activities or initiatives that we do just basic, um, specifically um, our operation focus. But from a community standpoint and what we do for the community, um, this is one example. This is one example uh, supporting this World Wildlife Day to raise the awareness and also encourage residents, communities, what you can do at your local level to preserve our wildlife. Like, so that's one thing. Um, some of the other initiatives would include um, our partnership with the University of Canberra, uh, the PQ uh, Conservation Project. So it's a community-led initiative where you have the communities and the program is around in Kikori, where communities are encouraged to develop conservation um, activities or measures. One, to protect uh, nesting areas where the turtles lay eggs and also encourages them to sustainably harvest the turtle eggs and um, the meat itself. So that's one that we partnered with the University of, the, of Canberra. Another one is with the James Cook University. Again, that's around um, with the Pindu, or we call it the Kikori Dolphin Project. So there is some research analysis going to that. We have another initiative with the PNG Sports Olympic Committee. So, and what they do is a Love Your Coast program. So there's various programs that we, we support. Um, and again, part of this is, apart from promoting awareness, the data, the analysis that goes into it, contributes to the biodiversity knowledge bank of the country as well. There's several literatures that have come out as a result of our investment um, with the PICU program, you've got that. So again, getting that conservation literature to students to, um, and to, to young kids to learn about that. Um, with the Port Mosby Nature Park, especially, we have a very strong partnership and an active one. Um, Apart from this, we also support the school excursion program and it's very exciting to see the number of school kids that come out and um, go through that program. Again, teaches them about conservation, about environment. PNG is one of the country in the world that has a diverse range of plants and animal species that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. That makes us unique and stand out from the rest of the world. Today, around the world, Wildlife conservation is now becoming a huge concern across the globe as species and their habitats face a number of threats such as habitat destruction, illegal wildlife trading, pollution and competition from introduced species and climate change, many of which are caused by human activities. To celebrate this day, there were bouncing castle, snake talks, face painting for the children and conservation talks on how we can prevent and protect our natural wildlife and their habitats. Well, viewers, unfortunately, time has caught up with us, so we have now come to the end of our program. 
but we are so grateful that you joined us just as much as we have enjoyed your company. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of House and Home this week. If you have missed out on watching the previous episodes, including tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV online and watch. And remember viewers, that there is more that you will get for all your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday night, same time, same place, right here on your number one to watch, MTV. Till then, I'm Victoria Gima. Have a great week and pleasant viewing. Good night. We care about improving lifestyles. Improving lifestyles. It's all about the better man for your life.